So okay. we're going into our next match. That's right. We have Nice Burst Okusan versus Koichi. So now, Koichi is maybe a well-known name to some of the older, you know, Guilty Gear fans. Yeah. He's been around for a really long time playing fighting games. Now, Okusan, on the other hand, is not as is not as famous as a name, but he has made a name for himself playing Persona as a fighting game. Right. And they're both here in top eight. In a very, very, very stacked bracket. Now, Okusan plays both Sho Minizuki with the Persona and Sho Minizuki without. They're both, they have similar normals, but in terms of play style, both characters are very different. Yeah. But, you know, Okusan has shown mastery of both players, characters. On the other hand, Koichi plays Aegis, which is a character that has a meter, and when you activate the meter, the Orgia meter, she gets a flight mode that allows her to boost, do lots of crazy movement, crazy combos, yeah. crazy mix ups. <laughs> she basically becomes a Gundam. Until the meter's out, she's just all over you. Absolutely. So a lot of the matchups will be the, how will you deal with your opponent's Orgia gauge. If you can wear it down without allowing them to get into their game plan with just move around like crazy and come in on you in offense, you can actually prevent Igus from doing a lot of what she does because without that meter she's actually, you know, only like a, a regular character. Yeah, right. A regular character with a low reward. Here we go. Koichi, after the first scramble, getting a hit in there. Turning with Orgia on, he's got great steps and mixes here. Wow, really right. interesting choice. He just backed off, set the missiles, and it caught him a hit immediately. Great block on that overhead. <laughs> Overheated himself. If you let your meter go all the way out, you will overheat. You won't be able to activate Orgia again. Very nice. That is a cross up from Oksan. Actually, they've already had similar health already. Here comes. Whoa! Uses that command teleport dash. Baits it out. <gasps> will this that is a big punish! Great. Is it enough damage? Wow! That is enough! <gasps> great, wow! Great punish. He baited that shield charge super with that roll dodge and then just punished it with that super. You know, that's that's a moment where show shines. Absolutely. Most characters cannot get a counter hit on that. He actually got a counter hit super. Uh, no, you can't burst. Like, you're just dead. <laughs> Very nice. Wow! So, Sho's a big, huge normal. But actually, a lot of trouble for Igus. Igus' normal is like her best normal is a one where she shoots everywhere, shows normals can actually just, you know, chop her up before she can get, get those bullets out. Yeah, he's also great at just running really quick resets that do a lot of damage. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you can see the, <laughs> the health bars are just gone. So he can find back with a big combo, trying to rebuild some Orgia meter. One more burst. Wow. He's going to use this to get to seal the round. This is extremely burst safe. You know, that was a very expensive combo, though. That's that will haunt right. him in the next round when he has no burst. The thing is, is that I just cannot combo, but by using that one more right. burst there, right. I, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. He lets them do that combo by switching modes. It's important to not overemphasize the importance of the burst. Wow. Kohichi with very good offense this time around. And you see why. <laughs> Absolutely. He By winning that round, he got a second lease on life. And now he's just really, really attacking. Oksan. There it is. That's, that SP rising attack is incredibly hard to punish. Yeah, and it's super invulnerable. So, yes. it very is impressive move. Very nice. Tags it. Koichi gets the re-jump oh, nice jump loop. Still going. Where's the reset? There it Looks like it was right there. Whoa, with their grab. And the fake is enough to go low. It's going to earn the first set. So Koichi takes the first game. Oksan, thinking a little carefully about that, he did not do a bad job in the first, you know, good amount of the game. But he did not really represent the DP at all. You know, it's true. Um, some of Igus' setups are not confirmable combo-wise. Right. But it's really hard to say whether or not it will really help in the situations. Um, part of the problem is, is that a lot of those hits were actually from neutral. Like, yeah. Koichi just opened up. When he was on defense, he didn't actually really need a DP. So. Yeah, it, he kept doing these weird things where he was, like, kind of neutral, but yeah. with a serious gambit for an advantage. Absolutely. Uh, well, once I said, as I said before, once Igus turns on that meter, yeah. she does have dominating movement. Her normals are great in combination with that meter. Right. Or Gia meter. Wow, tags him at the start of the round. So now, Oksan has actually switched to Minazuki with the Persona. And this version of the character is once again considered fairly strong against Igus. But Koichi right now, great neutral from him. Good block. Tries to punish with a throw, interesting. Whoa. 
Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, I think Koichi is more willing to go to those flame wheels because of Minizuki's slow normals. Yeah. I, wow. They're Great. kind of unsafe, but you know, against a character like Minizuki, not not he's, very. He's looking for the DP, gets the DP baited. Bates the burst. Oh, that's such a smart burst. Uh, Normally that's burst safe, but because there was only one card left, it was totally fine. Yeah, it broke the persona. Here we go. Oksan's in trouble, but he still has... That is a nice air grab. Finds the air throw. Getting Koichi to respect so that. So much pressure. Cut the guard. Cancel roll with an air backdash low. He needs to spend one more burst. burst. It's worth it. You got to take this round. Very nice. Very good friends of mine to close it out. Doesn't yeah. want Koichi yeah. to have another chance. Don't give him, don't give Aegis especially. Aegis is so wild and dangerous on Wake Up with Awakening. Absolutely. We haven't seen it yet, but she does have a very fast super. Now, uh, Oksan did get tagged by the bullets, but he was so high up that it was hard for Koichi to actually capitalize, which let him tag and punish. Wow, great neutral. It seemed like he was kind of baiting it with Persona cards. He was just yeah. like, please tap this so I can, I can trap you later. Here it is. This is the super. But he baited it with he the super. He baited it hard. That did a lot of damage. Koichi's in trouble. Another hit. But he is in Ogia mode. He's going to do tons of damage. He's got there. great mix-ups. And Oksan has no burst. Interesting choice to put him in Awakening. I guess the corner push was worth it. Just going for it. It does seem He's to be rewarded. Wow. No, he could not kill from that combo. Tried to go for a reset. But wow. Oh, no. no. Okay. Wow. That, that would have been a very, very important drive. <laughs> you see, you see the, like, did you Is it, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> did you just get me with that? <laughs> Here we go. This is match one for Koichi. Koichi DP on that teleport. So Minizuki's teleport is actually advantage on block. Oh. So if you oh. do not DP it or anti air it, he will get in on you. That was a setup. Oh no, he's tagged by Sweep! Great it looked burst. like a fake setup. Okay, tags him. He's catching with a lot of uh, low damage things. Doesn't seem like Koichi mines that much. Jumpy counter, but doesn't get the confirm. Yeah, he whiffed the 5B. With, there was no punish from Koichi. The tensions are so high. Anybody's game here. Wow! Oh. He made the right call, but he did too late! He catches him with Jump C. This could be it. This should be it. Koichi is going to take it over Okusan in Persona for Arena Top 8. And he'll move on to face his next opponent. Which is, in fact, nice burst Ahichi. Wow. Let's check back to the bracket here. We've seen the very first losers and winners matches. And now we've got nice burst Soji against Aguro. As well as nice first Taichi versus Koichi. Meanwhile, winners finals, we have Superboy and Hagiwara waiting. Mm. Loser of them will go on to play the subsequent winners of the losers bracket. That's right. Now it's going to be hard to call these matches because, as we've seen so far, Aguro has been getting so much mileage from a lot of the like he's losing a lot of time and then he wins. Right. Right. It's the kind of play. That is really what Persona is all about. Yeah. You know, the health bars don't really matter so much until your opponent is actually on the ground, yeah. KO'd. Absolutely. And Soji is cons would probably be considered by many to be the favorite in this matchup, but he does. He's kind of the opposite. He's the kind of player who does really well for a lot.